out of Geneva, a dire message from climate scientists. They warn unprecedented and even irreversible changes are happening to this planet and say it is beyond any doubt that human activity is to blame. Climate change and its scary effects have been on the rise for a while now. We've already seen quite a few scary and worrying events that have made the world take climate change just a bit more seriously and every day more and more people are joining in on the fight to save our planet. For those that still don't know how to join in on the fight, you came to the right place. Hey everyone, Dewey Stewart here once again ready to give you another amazing video but before we get to that let me tell you about our amazing sponsor. Ren.com is one of our amazing sponsors that helps us all in the fight against climate change. Rent.com is a website where you can calculate your own carbon footprint and then offset it by helping fund projects that plant trees and help save our planet's rainforests. It is such an easy and fulfilling way to get started. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your lifestyle and then Rent.com will then calculate your carbon footprint and give you ways on how to reduce it. Now just so we know, none of us can reduce our carbon emissions to zero, but we can help offset the emissions that we do create. Once you sign up for your monthly contribution, Rent.com will send you monthly updates from the projects that you support. You actually get to see where your trees are planted and where your money is being spent. It's going to take all of us to stop the climate crisis, but you can start learning more and helping out at Ren.com today. Need any more incentive? Well, right now, Most Amazing Top 10 has partnered with Ren.com to protect five extra acres of rainforest for the first 100 people who sign up using our referral link. Check it out in the video description as well as the pinned comment down below. To give you even more incentive to join the fight, today I will be taking you through the top 10 scary things that will happen in the next 50 years with climate change. So let's get to it. Starting us off at number 10 is extreme weather. Over the last couple of decades, we have been seeing a large surplus in hurricanes, floods, droughts, tornadoes, fires, you name it. A rise in the temperature can have major lasting effects. Most storms such as tornadoes are made up of warm and cold fronts, and when there is more heat and oxygen and nitrogen in our atmosphere, it can create more wicked and wild storms. Then of course heat, especially dry heat, can lead to more forest fires like the ones we've been seeing all over the place quite recently. And that can have lasting effects with that smoke rising into our atmosphere as well. This first one is a little vague, but trust me when I say that just about anything goes here. And as a guy who has experienced some of these extreme weathers, it is not fun and makes a great case to start looking after our planet. At number nine, we have a visible difference from space. With the way how things are going, it has been reported that over the next couple of decades, we will actually be able to see the difference in how the Earth looks from space. With tons and tons of deforestation, melting of the ice caps, and more and more emissions being released into our atmosphere, things from above are starting to look a little different. You can actually see the ice caps shrinking in size. The forests are becoming less green and fires are smoking up the skies and atmosphere and it can be all seen from space. And if we want our green and blue planet to stay looking like the healthy, beautiful, cosmic wonder it is, then we're going to have to start taking care of it. At number eight, we have a three to four degrees increase in temperature. A couple of years ago, global heating hit a benchmark of one and a half degrees Celsius warmer. We are now on track to hitting three or even four degrees Celsius warmer with in the next couple of decades. Some scientists have compared it to a clock that has gone from 9 p.m. to midnight. Places such as Los Angeles, Sydney, Madrid are all experiencing new temperatures with some days reaching 50 degrees Celsius. London, England's climate now resembles that of Barcelona's 30 years ago. It may not seem like a lot, but three to four degrees hotter than the hottest days we have all already gone through that's hot. No amount of water will be able to cool you down and this is of course a huge danger for those that are already deathly sick and for our elderly, especially the ones who don't have any air condition. At number seven, we have a decline in food production. With heat increasing, it will throw off the growing of food, especially in these agricultural areas where we get our fruits and vegetables from going through a drought. This will also have a huge humanitarian impact as well. As the people from third world countries who rely on the land for food and the farmers that grow most of these foods will not be able to feed themselves either. The United Nations International Panel on Climate Change expects to see food decline by 2-6% to in the coming decades due to land degradation, droughts, floods, and the rise of sea levels. The global population is expected to rise as well with 2 billion more people than we already have currently. That's going to make things even more difficult. At number six, we have a major carbon increase. On our current course, we will be seeing the Earth's carbon concentration increase to 550 parts per million from the 400 parts per million we have today. Catherine Hiho, an atmospheric scientist and director from the Climate Science Center at Texas Tech University, says by 2050, we'd be seeing events that are far more frequent and far 
far more stronger than we humans have ever experienced before, occurring both simultaneously and in sequence. Her actual biggest concern is what her number 7 spot was. A major food production decline. Coming in at our halfway point at number five, we have geoengineering threats. With things getting scarier by the day, many scientists and countries have looked towards geoengineering to help stop the speedy increase in global warming and its negative effects. Now, what is geoengineering? Well, it's the deliberate large scale intervention in the Earth's natural systems to counteract climate change. In short, it's the unnatural and most likely band aid solution that many of us humans go towards to fix any of our problems. In the past 20 years, some nations have tried volcano mimicking, cloud brightening, albedo modification, and even carbon dioxide removal. Doesn't sound that bad now, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. But wait, I wasn't finished. Because as we all know, humans can be our own worst enemies sometimes, and with these new tech advancements, some nations have been trying to weaponize this tech. Weapons that could block sunlight and disrupt rainfall patterns. Folks, come on, where does it stop? I'm all for finding new technological advancements to help us in our fight towards climate change, but let's not cut any more corners than what we already have. And Honestly, do we not have enough weapons already? Come on. At number four, we have the poorer get poorer. Some of the hottest places on earth happen to be third world countries or places that are extremely impoverished. It is already difficult to survive in these climates with the little food and water that some of these people have, but with rising temperatures, it will make it even more difficult for the people and cultures that live within these harsh climates. Once again, food production will decrease as well as many will be more susceptible to disease and will not be able to properly treat themselves. Starting us off in our top three, at number three is the disappearance of coral reefs. This is a major sad one, folks. Over the Years, we have been witness to one of the biggest coral reef bleachings in history. What does that mean? Well, when the oceans become too hot, the corals turn bleach white and lose their vibrant color and life. It's a defense mechanism to help the battle against the heat, but often just leads to the coral completely dying. Scientists believe over the next 20 years, 70 to 90 percent of all coral reefs will disappear as a result of warming ocean waters, ocean acidity, and pollution. What are we doing to combat this? Well, some labs are now growing their own self made corals in hopes that they can release it into our oceans and start to grow a new coral reef once again. But just like the band-aid solutions I've talked about before, what we really need to do is just save what we have left. At number two, we have underwater cities. And no, I am not talking about the ones that are already underwater. Now, this will not happen right away. But are we on track for a major rise in sea levels? Yes. By the year 2100, scientists predict an eight foot rise in sea level, and it will be seen all over the coastal cities. Cities such as New York, Miami Beach, Atlantic City, New Orleans, LA, the list can go on forever folks. Due to the melting of the ice caps and hurricanes and storms contributing to the destruction of low lying coastal areas, we could see many cities go completely underwater. Like I said though, we have a bit of time on this one, so let's fix it even before we get that 8 foot rise in sea level because there's still some coastal cities that I still want to visit and I hope you do too, and NYC is one of my favorite places on Earth. So let's look out for that big apple, shall we? And finally, coming in at our number one spot is the exact same one that was on my last climate change video mental health. I can't stress this one enough, folks. As important as it is to learn all of the effects of climate change, let's just be honest. It's scary. Not only is it scary, it's also daunting. Where do we even begin? Well, honestly, guys, wherever you can. We don't need 7 billion people to be perfect, we just need 7 billion people to do their best. Make small changes at the beginning or even just learn what you can, but then don't be scared to take a mental health break when needed. My intention here is not to scare you with all these facts, but just bring light to some important issues. Learn what you can, talk to people, lower your use of single plastics, carpool, ride a bike, walk, put pressure on the big corporations and politicians, or hey, even join forces with the amazing people like our sponsor at red.com. Whatever you're able to do in the end, no matter how small, is always a step in the right direction and will always create a ripple effect. When we start to actively make better choices for ourselves, we will feel better too. So let's all help out our planet and not only help others, but also just as importantly, Let's help ourselves. That has been our top 10 scary things that will happen in the next 50 years with climate change. I hope you're feeling a little bit more inspired to learn more or do what you can after hearing that list. And don't forget, one easy way to get started is by heading on over to ren.com and joining our most amazing team in our fight against climate change. So check out the pinned comment down below. Anyway, I have been your host, Dewey Stewart. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. I will see you all back here very, very soon. Bye bye, friends. Mm -hmm.